All right, everybody. So in this video, we're going to create a game of Mad Libs. Mad Libs is a game where you have a story and a user fills in different words. The result is that it gives you a story that's really silly or doesn't necessarily make sense at times. But that's what we'll be doing in this video. It will help us practice accepting user input. Since we're accepting user input, we'll need to import the scanner class at the top of our Java file. Import java.util.scanner. A scanner is going to help us accept user input. We'll declare that and assign it. Scanner scanner equals new scanner. Parentheses semicolon. Then within the parentheses, we will type system.in. When writing a program, I like to declare all of my variables first. All these variables are going to be of the string data type. We will need an adjective. You're going to get an English lesson today too. Adjective one, an adjective describes something like fast, slow, cheap, expensive. We'll need a noun, string noun one. A noun is a person, place, or thing. We'll need another adjective, adjective two. We'll need a verb. A verb is an action like sleeping or running, verb one. Then another adjective. Again, an adjective describes something. All right, so let's work on our story. We'll have four lines. So for the first line, we'll say, today I went to a, we'll insert an adjective, adjective one. We're going to describe a zoo that we went to. We haven't asked for user input yet. We're getting a warning that this variable has not been initialized. That's okay. We'll take care of that soon. So today I went to a, a description, an adjective, zoo. In an exhibit, I saw a plus a noun. A noun is a person, place, or thing, like a gorilla or Harambe. Then we'll add some punctuation, a period. We'll say noun one was plus adjective two and our verb verb one, then add some punctuation. So we could say that Harambe was big and sleeping. So a verb is an action. I was plus adjective three, then add some punctuation. All right, now we just need to accept user input. So let's do that after assigning the variables. We'll need five print statements. We will prompt the user to enter an adjective. Enter an adjective. I'll give a hint that an adjective is a description. We're describing something. Enter a noun. Enter a noun. I'll give a hint that we are looking for a animal or person. We'll need another adjective. We can just copy this line. Then we need a verb. Enter a verb and we want it in present tense. So ending with ing, like running. I'll give a hint that a verb is an action. And then another adjective. All right, now we just need to assign these variables. We've already declared them. Adjective one equals take our scanner, use the next line method, and really, we can just copy this line, paste it, 
and then change what we're assigning it to. We're accepting strings for each of these lines. We have adjective one, noun one, adjective two, verb one, and adjective three. All right, now the last thing that I'm forgetting, since we opened up a scanner, it is good practice to close it at the end of our file. If we don't, it can lead to unexpected behavior if we leave any open resources. Scanner.close. All right, we are ready to run this. I'm going to prefix a new line character before displaying our story, just so that it's not so close to the prompts when outputting it. Enter an adjective, a description. I'm going to say suspicious. Enter a noun. So I like making fun of Mark Zuckerberg. I'm going to write the name of a person. Mark Zuckerberg. Enter an adjective. Smelly. Enter a verb ending with ing. Screaming. Enter an adjective. Happy. And here's our Mad Libs game. Today I went to a suspicious zoo. In an exhibit, I saw a Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg was smelly and screaming. I was happy. So for your Mad Libs game, post your results in the comment section because I would like to read them. I want to see what you guys wrote. Or if you wrote a different story, post that too. And well everybody, that is a simple Mad Libs game that we can write using Java.